You're here with the Mouse Vibes. We're at Lamplight Lounge on Pixar Pier in Disney's California Adventure, and we got one of each secret alcoholic beverage menu item at Lamplight Lounge. We're gonna try all of these. Hopefully we can walk afterwards. I don't know what all of them are called, but we're gonna get to the bottom of this for you guys. I'm gonna try the Mickey's Fun Wheel. Tetris got it last time and this is one of his favorite drinks. Oh, that's bomb. Okay, so if you put your straw at the bottom, it's not strong and the second your straw goes up, you're like, damn Gina, that's some liqueur. Five vibes, Mickey's Fun Wheel, five vibes. And just the presentation, it's so cute. Like, And I feel like if you're a Disney person, you wanna order something that looks cute as opposed to if it tastes good, cause like Instagram does. Just a little known fact that the Fun Wheel used to come with two, I believe it was lemon wedges that they would put on the end that would make it look like Mickey. But they said, hey, we don't want Mickey to be endorsing alcohol, but I mean, how cute was that? Okay, you guys, so this is the zombie. This is similar to a Long Island iced tea. The top is like Grand Marnier and I accidentally just had the top, so let's try it. But if you mix it, it's gonna look ugly like a zombie. It tastes just like a Mai Tai or like a hurricane. Too many of those and you're gonna get kicked out of Disneyland. <laughs> Four out of five vibes. Pass me that. That's an aggressive drink. I mean, it's got raspberries in it. How aggressive can it be? You don't get named zombie for no reason, you know? <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about aggressive? Lift your straw. Maybe I've been to too many college bars and like Long Islands, but this is delicious. Honestly, I feel like I'm in the South sipping some sweet tea. Five out of five vibes. So this is a Neverland tea. The presentation, I'm gonna give it five out of five vibes. You know, Ashley appreciates the presentation. It looks good, it looks festive. It's good for the gram. Okay. Oh. Yeah, 10 vibes. Oh, this is so good. I'm in a bikini on the beach in Hawaii. Taking sexy pictures in my bikini. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Oh. 10. That is bomb. I just want to know is when she when she's taking sexy pictures in her bikini, does she also have on mouse ears? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Disney after dark. <laughs> oh my god, Ashley, you described this perfectly. So good. This is a vacation in a cup. So if you're here and you're visiting Southern California, maybe not from here and you want to feel like you're on vacay, get this four out of five vibes. Yeah. we're trying the sea witch. We'll put the ingredients in the description, but as you can see, this is an interesting drink. It's purple on the top, a little blue at the bottom, giving me Ursula vibes. I don't know what Ursula tastes like, but I guess I'm about to find out. I gotta be real with you. This is the worst one so far. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot going on. It's very sweet, a lot of flavor, but it almost tastes like you're sipping like some sort of candy. I will give you the fact that it gives you Halloween vibes. So if you're looking for like a Halloween themed cocktail, not October yet. This is it, but it tastes um, pretty, pretty rough. I'm gonna give this a, Ooh, a, a, a 0.5 out of five vibes. This is what? rough. Halloween is the best time of the year. Every day is Halloween. Let me try this. Yes, it is. Okay, this is a sea wave. It tastes like grape juice. But is the mix right? This is so good. She also loves Halloween. But also, did you hear somebody say, tastes like grape juice? Who the heck? likes grape juice. Wait. Grape juice is the best juice. Artificial grape is the best flavor in the world. Stand by that so hard. Tiebreaker? Tiebreaker. 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 Tie All right, tiebreaker. Here, tie Here we go. Here we go. One vibe. <laughs> Max. Five vibes. If you're a Halloween queen like me, you're going to love it. I loved it. It's Robitussin in a cup. Yes! Who it's wants Robitussin. to drink Robitussin? I do! <laughs> this is a black pearl. Way too sweet. Tastes like juice. Two vibes. Two vibes. 
So the honey that just said that the Halloween drink was sweet and perfect, now just called a drink too sweet. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. And by too sweet, did you mean a lemonade on a nice sunny day? That's what this is called. And I will give this five vibes. Didn't know it until today, but apparently me and Ashley have very different drink palettes because this is freaking great. Oh yeah, this will be my drink for the day. Perfect, lemonade. I'm a Southern Belle, what can I say? Melrose. It has some sort of fruit on the bottom. I don't know what fruit that is, but again, we're gonna put all the ingredients to every single secret drink in the description below. Let's try this. Let's mix it so I don't just get like fruit in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> this tastes like a Bellini. It has like a sour tart taste. This is really good for vibes for sure. I like this a lot. It's good, it's different. There's like some like nectar. Nectar! nectar. <laughs> Okay, so this is what happens when you come to Pixar Pier and you drink all the drinks on the secret menu You say things like nectar. I'm really excited. She called it the Melrose. It is the Melrose place Let's get our LA vibes on here I actually actually killed it on this one. This definitely tastes like a Bellini Which is a very I feel like Melrose place LA type of drink. So, you know, if you're into that I give this one a 3.5 out of 5 vibes, but it's definitely giving you Bellini brunch. Love that energy. This is the last drink on the secret alcoholic menu at Lamplight Lounge. This is the Earthquake. Oh. No, that's... Neg oh. I hate that. It has like some like henny taste and I don't like that. Heartburn, zero vibes, that's gross. <laughs> well, if you know who likes henny. That's me. So I can't wait to try this drink. What, where is this at? It's the Earthquake. I don't know if you heard, she called it the alcoholic menu. I don't know if that's the word for oh, it. alcohol menu, sorry, I meant to say alcohol But menu. apparently, we're alcoholics. Let's see. This is giving me the Henny I, that she's talked about, but also with the Long Island. And normally a Henny Long Island isn't necessarily a marriage. I'm gonna kind of agree with her on that and give this a 2.7 vibes. So we tried every single secret drink menu at Lamplight Lounge just for you. My favorite personally was the Sea Witch. The presentation, the aesthetic, the name, all of it. I loved The Little Mermaid, it was great. Did it taste like Robitussin? Yes, it did. Was it good? Yes, it was. Did I get a little of a buzz? Yes, I did. I recommend all of these, but the Sea Witch was my absolute favorite. My second runner up was the Neverland Tea. If you're a fan of Long Island iced tea, that is the drink for you. These drinks are not watered down and the presentation are great. So if you're someone that loves Instagram, TikTok, whatever, presentation wise, all of these drinks are for you. They're all beautiful. So get all of them. If you're not on a budget, get all of them like we did. So if I had to talk about my favorite drinks today from the secret menu, I gotta go with the classic. The Mickey's Fun Wheel. It's been a classic for so long. It was the best drink on the menu today, but new drink I never tried that is a close second runner up. Gotta be the Black Pearl. That was the lemonade Southern Bell one. Come get the Black Pearl. It's also delicious. Mickey's Fun Wheel, Black Pearl. Also, if you're new to this channel, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're just coming for a second, well, thanks for stopping by. We like to turn up. Woo, drink on the pier.